What's going on, everybody? It's Trevor here with Trevor Talks, and we are here live in Atlanta, Georgia, with BJ and Cameron Arnett. Cameron most re recently was in Overcomer, which was the number one family film of the year. Congratulations on that. And we're here for Maddie the Discovery. Are y'all excited about this or what? We are bursting at the seams with excitement. So it's really an awesome thing to see this actually come to fruition. This is just an exciting time for us. Yeah, now I was looking at some previous interviews on YouTube. How long ago was this film created? Um, gosh, we uh, worked on it on uh, 2016. 2017. 17, I'm sorry, yes. 17. Mm -hmm. And uh, from that point on, it went into all the uh, uh, festival circuit and mm -hmm. so won a, a lot of awards and we knew that we were going to uh, let it be there for a while and so finally now it's time for the world to see it so we're very excited. That's super amazing and can you kind of just give us a little piece of information on what we're going to see in the film tonight. I've seen the trailer, I've seen every interview that y'all have about it, but the people at home that are watching this interview, if they've never heard of Maddie the Discovery, or maybe they've never heard of CAPS, your uh, production agency, let me know, like, give me the scoop. You gotta, you can't be holding me back. You can't be holding me back. There's a scoop. All right. Well, well Camion at Production Studios, that's who we are. Actually, my wife and I were cast in the film, and the producers couldn't do it. And so the writer came to us, Terry V. Sofer. She came to us and said, hey, you know what? This is what you guys do. Uh, will you take it on? So we prayed, and God said yes. And, and you know, so we, and we became producers <laughs> yeah. and directors of it all. And so uh, basically what people are going to see is a story about a young girl who's discovering her prophetic gifts, whether she's going to use it for good or for evil, and how that relates to Christ and everything else. And so um, you get to see the family and how she grows up and how she discovers who she is. That's so amazing. And you have an upcoming film coming out on March 20th of next yes. year yes. called I Still Believe. Yes. And it's kind of funny because if you guys have seen the movie Overcomer, he played Thomas Hill and he was in a hospital bed. <laughs> but for I Still Believe, you kind of flipped the script. Yes, Mr. I do. Doctor, I, I am, mean. I am the doctor in I Still Believe. So actually now people are coming to me and they're in the bed and I'm not. And so <laughs> uh, I had an uh, 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 absolutely phenomenal time working with the Irwins and you know quite a difference between them and, and the Kendricks. But man, watching these brothers work together Amazing. and bring uh, about excellence is just phenomenal. And so I've had the best of both worlds with these two guys. Very much so. And what was it like working with KJ Apple, Shania, Queen, Shania Twain, Gary Sinise? Britt Robertson, it was an all-star cast, and yeah. it, it just made my day to see you in it because yeah. I didn't even know. I know. I really no, didn't I know. even know. And, and, and so I watched it, and I saw you, and I was like, <laughs> is my bro the doctor? <laughs> I was like, how did I not get filled in on yeah. this, man? Yes. You know, I, I, that's the thing, you know, it's funny because when both films, if you'll take a look at it, I was not, the character was not really, you know, uh, foretold for anyone to know. For sure. And so, and this one as well, but working with them was great. Uh, Appa is is a hoot. This guy is he's so he's so much fun and so real. Yeah. And uh, people are going to see a great performance. He does a good job, and so does the entire cast. That's amazing. Your previous uh, film ventures have been Star Trek, Meet the Browns with yeah. Tyler Perry, Doogie Howser. Like yeah. you've had a very successful career, if I must say, and uh -huh. it's amazing. But we're going to scoot you aside, Miss BJ. <laughs> why didn't you tell me you had a daytime talk show? <laughs> okay, so what happened was mm -hmm. well, what happened? Talk a lot and yeah, so we just too. decided that since she talks a lot she might as well do this really so this really has been going on for most of my life I've and been awesome. a talk show host <laughs> so you've done daytime talk show yes you've been with NBC NBC as an anchor daytime. and you are a professor I'm a professor at the illustrious Clark Atlanta University and I get to help students discover their dreams in fashion and merchandising and marketing and branding. So I love it. I love Do it. you have a younger sister that just happens to be single? <laughs> I, I, I need on, to on help that note, you. moving on. I need, I need <laughs> to help you.